All right, I'm finally getting off my first trip scouting this year for Sturgeon Spearing 23. I'm on Lake Poygan, or just about to be on Lake Poygan. I uh, brought my shack over yesterday and dropped it off in the parking lot here. And now I just want to get out with the uh, UTV and the drill and just start drilling some holes and see how much ice we got out there, what the water looks like. Um, before I start taking my truck out there, I know there were some trucks over the weekend out there I could see but uh, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Uh, like I said, I have never been out there yet this year, so I'm not gonna just gonna go off of somebody else driving around. I'd like to check for sure myself before I take my truck. And uh, the UTV can pull the shack out, so maybe I can pull it out there later on, at least get it out there. But uh, I guess we uh, we definitely got the cold weather that we wanted. It, uh, it's like five right now, I think, and windy. You gotta be kind of crazy to get out there right now, but. As long as you dress for it, I ain't gonna spend all day out there, just a couple hours just to get an idea uh, how it looks. But it is cold, and this is what we wanted. But you gotta deal with it then. <laughs> it's got, it's no, uh, no way to win over that one. You gotta, you want the cold, it's gonna be cold. So yeah, I'm gonna get out there and uh, see what she looks like. inches. Every hole so far has been 12 inches. I like it. Yeah, this is pretty brutal out here. This wind. She's blowing some snow. I just crossed the crack over here. I'm still out quite a ways. I'd say at least a mile out yet in the bay here from the North Shore. And there is a crack right back here. It's tight, looks fine, but something to think about. 12 inches. Been very consistent, 12 inches. Not much snow, it's pretty easy going, but she's blown. This spot here is much closer to shore. I think this is Indian Point here. And uh, 13 and a half inches. So, uh, still being consistent with over a foot every hole I've drilled so far. I'm just gonna keep moving around as much as long as I can take it out here. It's pretty brutal, but just keep moving. It is blowing. I think I've had enough. I'm gonna head her in. All right, so that's day one of my uh, scouting season. I didn't spend too much time out there because it is so brutal. It is so windy, it's blowing. I don't have doors on my UTV, so it's blowing in the sides and in the back. Um, I don't know, but I drilled a ton of holes. The least I had was about 12 inches, just over 12. The most was almost 14. So when I cover, I went all the way across to the North Shore, along there, back to Horseshoe, into shore. Drilled some in between here in Horseshoe, and it was really consistent of 12 inches or more everywhere. So I'll. Maybe tomorrow I'll come out, but next time I come, I'll be taking the truck out. Um, still be leery about where you're gonna go, I guess. I don't know this lake all that well, as far as in the back bays and everything, but um, just take my time the next week, week and a half here scouting and see if I can see some fish on camera and, and uh, make a game plan up.
All right, I'm finally driving on Lake Poygan. January 31st, I came over yesterday and checked all the ice. As much as I could cover, nothing under a foot, up to 14 inches. Uh, so I hooked on the shanty and pulling her out. I'm gonna start sitting around and see if I can see some sturgeon, maybe catch some fish. A little warmer today, it's seven it says right now. It was like 12 below I think last night, maybe colder. So hopefully we made some more ice and uh, it's gonna be cold again tonight, maybe the next night and then it's supposed to warm up again for the weekend. But uh, I think we're good on ice over here for now. I don't think it's gonna get too warm in the next week and a half. Should be fine. Uh, the lake is really nice, very smooth. Uh, a guy at Nopke's there said there is a crack I think out here between the six and seven tree, I think it was, it's open a little. I'll have to check that out before I drive across it here, but I'm just gonna start out here in the middle, probably in horseshoe and uh, put my camera down and see what I can see. All right, feels good to be actually sitting in the shanty in the lake for a change instead of the driveway. But I got the camera set up. I got a few holes drilled. Um, I haven't seen nothing yet. It uh, doesn't look like it's the clearest water. But I think we're in 10 feet and it's uh, just over 13 inches of ice. So we got plenty of ice. So I'm just gonna sit here a little bit. I can see pretty good on the camera. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Now I mucked it up because I put the disc down and I think I can see it almost all the way to the bottom, which I wish it was a little cleaner, but we have time for it to clean up a little bit. I think this, like I said, I think this is like 10 feet mud, definitely mud. Um, but I, I don't mind putting siding down or pipes or something either. But we got time. This is the first spot I've been checking, so I'm gonna sit here for a while and see if I can see something. All right, I'm in the shack, probably less than five minutes staring at the camera and a really nice one came through. Um, this came right by the cup, real slow. It looked like a pretty big one. I know it's hard to tell on the camera sometimes, but that's promising. Like I said, I was literally less than five minutes. And uh, the water looks kind of milky, hazy. So I don't know. But like I said, they got, we got time for it to clean up and uh, find some better spots or maybe a little shallower or something, but that's one. All right, so that's my first day of scouting out here. Only had a couple hours to sit, just seen that one right away, and a lot of shad. Shad were coming through pretty steady. Not like huge schools of them, three, four, five, but uh, that's all I saw. I didn't see any other fish, so I'll get back over in a couple days and move around, and, and then probably all day Friday, and then uh, try and get a spot nailed down. Well, it's now Thursday afternoon, February 2nd. I'm back out on Poygan. I just hooked down my shack and I'm gonna head west, I think. Saw that one here on Tuesday, only sitting for a little while. One came through right away. Of course, my camera was not recording at the time, but uh, water's a little dirty here, so I'm just gonna get out of the horseshoe here and just start moving around for the next two days and sitting with the camera and try and see some fish. A lot of people fishing right here right now. A lot of people fishing east, east of the horseshoe too. But uh, I'm looking for sturgeon, so see what we can see. Well, I pulled the shack like probably a few miles west. I'm way on the west end of the lake coming into a bay. Uh, five feet of water, a boat. And of course it's crystal clear. I mean, you can see it, no problem. But I've been sitting here for about an hour staring at the camera and I haven't seen anything. One shad came by. So I think I'm gonna pack her up and just keep jumping around. Be nice to see a fish right away or at least within an hour to know that they're really in there. But maybe I'm greedy, but keep moving. Well, no luck today seeing any sturgeon. I drilled a lot of holes and just jumped around trying to, I don't know, just get an idea where I could see what the what the bottom looks like and all that. I've seen some shad, some white bass, whatever. I just kind of was looking with my, out the window of my truck with the camera out the window. I'm gonna give her all day tomorrow and sit. I gotta 
kind of got an idea where I want to go. I just got to make sure that there's fish there, I guess. There's probably fish everywhere, but I just kind of want to be in a the best area possible. Avoid as much crowds as I can. But uh, that's another day of scouting. Tomorrow's supposed to be very cold, so I'm just going to camp out in the shack, I think, and uh, not move around too much. And then Saturday, it looks like uh, it's going to be pretty warm, but we might be on Winnebago. See you about tomorrow. All right, it's Friday, February 3rd. I am back on Poygan. I got the whole day. Dropped the kids off at school, and I'm going to plan on sitting as much as I can all day with the camera. See if I can see some fish. And then tomorrow we're going to be on Winnebago, I think. But uh, it is cold. It is uh, 7 below right now. So I definitely will be in the truck or in the shanty. And uh, see what I can see here. Starting to be more and more people, I noticed, on the lake. I imagine today there'll be quite a few. Tomorrow there'll probably be a zoo out here. People doing the same thing I'm doing. I think tomorrow is supposed to be a little different day. It's supposed to be like uh, mid-30s, I think. And then that temperature is going to stay like that. Looks like through spearing, in the spearing for sure. But I think we got enough ice out here for sure. Winnebago's a little iffy on the west shore. But the east shore, they're definitely driving out to get roads out. Um, yeah, I'm passing a couple guys right now sitting with pan optics, it looks like, out their window. I don't have that. Just got the camera. And uh, I'm on the west side of the lake, northwest corner, I guess you'd be. Say, uh, see a bunch of shacks way to the west. And then of course a bunch in the horseshoe and to the east. So I'm gonna get out to the shack and uh, settle in and see if I can see some fish today. All right, I've been sitting here for like, I don't know, 45 minutes, but it's like six feet of water, I've seen one perch come through but it's extremely milky looking in the water. I can barely see the cup and it's only four feet from the camera. But when I look down the hole, I can see the cup no problem. So it's really weird. Um, it does look like there was a couple tail marks going in the mud since, since I was here yesterday afternoon. So I don't know, I'm gonna try in a little closer and see if it looks a little cleaner before I go back out deeper, I think. I don't know, it's just, it's like milky looking, I don't know. So I moved in a few hundred yards, a little shallower. Less than two minutes, one came right through, right to the cup. It's a good sign. Well, I only ended up seeing that one fish early on. Moved two other times, went west a little ways, thousand yards or something, and that got real milky. I could hardly see my cup and it's only four feet in front of the camera. So now I came back towards the Indian Point again. Um, a little too shallow, but there's suck marks all over the place. Seen one garfish there. Um, seen a bunch of shad where I seen the sturgeon, maybe a perch. But uh, I think that's about it for today. I was hoping to see a few more fish. But I feel like I'm in the right area. I just gotta maybe go a little deeper, I guess. Um, we'll figure it out. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, weekend before spearing. Me and the boys came over to Poygan and uh, sat for quite a few hours. We didn't see any sturgeon, but we saw perch, walleyes, shad. Um, rumor has it they saw a few sturgeon right next to me, the guy said. Big sea saw one on the camera in a different area, so I might try that tomorrow. And uh, I don't know. I was hoping to see a bunch of fish this week, but it didn't go as planned. But uh, we got this week yet, a few days before we start cutting in on Thursday. And then uh, hopefully no more by then. Other than that, the lake looks great. There's a couple cracks that we cross over, but they're all sealed up. There's one that's open a few inches, but there's 15 plus inches everywhere it seems like maybe a little less on the west side 
and then of course when you get into the cut there between before you go into Winnet County there's less ice obviously until it gets to open water but but it's promising it looks nice it's supposed to be warm this week possible rain and everything but I don't think we're gonna lose much ice so I think we'll be all right we'll see what happens tomorrow Well, it's the Monday before Spear and I'm over on Poygan again in the afternoon. Sat for a few hours. All I saw were a couple carp came through, kind of scared me. And a walleye when I dropped the camera down. Some shad, some shad too. One school of shad and then some singles here and there. But no sturgeon got blocked out. The camera got all clouded up one time. But uh, my cousin was over here all day and he probably saw six or seven on the camera. And then a bunch on pan optics as well. We are way farther west, and it's kind of nice. There's nobody over here. Um, you might need siding or pipes are down. I'm not. I'm not sure. Once we cut a hole up the sea, but the only thing I don't like is only 11 and a half inches of ice right here, and it seems like it's less as you go west. So it's supposed to be 46, I guess, on uh, Wednesday. Warming up this week. It's not going to get very cold tonight or tomorrow night. But we'll come back over again tomorrow and sit and see if we can see some fish and nail down a spot. I think you can go anywhere in this area or pretty much anywhere in the lake and you have a good chance of seeing a fish. But we just want to get try and get into a high concentration of them, I guess, so we have some good chances. But yeah, I was hoping to see more fish. I just cannot seem to see fish on the camera this year. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm going to keep trying. I got a couple more days of scout before we cut in on Thursday. And I'll probably sit Thursday as well, but uh, till tomorrow. Well, it's Tuesday, February 7th, 37 degrees back out on Poygan. Small thunderstorm moved through last night. I keep hearing, I didn't hear it, but um, it's a little sloppy out here, but there's still snow everywhere. Doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna make my way back out and see if I can sit in the shanty and see some fish today. Cousin saw another one this morning, a big one. Um, supposed to get cold again tonight and then snow on Thursday, Friday, so we'll see what happens. But as of now, it's still looking good. Like I said, a little bit of water, a little slush on the lake, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Well, so much for uh, scouting today. I don't know, I just cannot see a fish. It's driving me nuts. I can't sleep. It's getting too close now to... I mean, I'm poigan for crying out loud. I'm supposed to be seeing fish all the time. Maybe I'm just trying too hard. I don't know. I'm back off of Indian Point outside, just kind of bouncing around. I was way west. There's fish over there, but I don't like the 11 inches of ice right now. Some guy stopped by and said there's a spot not too far away that was only 7 inches of ice he drilled. I don't like that at all, especially bringing out the wife and the kids. I'd rather stay over here on 15 inches of ice. But it's getting frustrating um, and it's getting sloppy. It's not terrible, but it's uh, there's still snow out here. But now the sun's out this afternoon and tomorrow's supposed to be 45 and sunny as well. But tonight it's supposed to drop into the 20s so it should tighten it up. But then tomorrow's probably gonna look like this again, maybe worse. And then they're talking a bunch of snow Thursday. By the way, the lake's fine going across the lake all the way over to the, the south side. Um, I'm just going to stay away from the west side by Captain's Cove over there. I don't, I just don't like that. Whatever, some people might. I could take UTV or four-wheelers or something, but... I don't know. I'm seeing shad and everything else, but I'm just not seeing surgeon. They're here. I know they're here. I don't know. I'll try and get out here tomorrow as early as I can and then otherwise Thursday cut in and sit all day. Yeah, it's frustrating. Well, it's the Wednesday before spearing and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's supposed to be like 45. Still a lot of snow out here, starting to get a little sloppy. It's probably midday. Um, I've, obviously, I got the UTV out today. I'm off uh, Indian Point. But I am going to move out of here a little bit and check a, an area more out in the lake. 
The west end has definitely got a lot less ice. 11 inches we found and it gets less as you go. Cousin actually dropped in a, a little spring just out in the middle of nowhere um, with this UTV, just busted it off. I guess a guy found that artesian well yesterday in Norwegian Bay. I heard of another spot off of Indian Point that has only nine inches. I'm not sure where that is. But other than that, it's all 15 plus inches of ice everywhere but the farther west you go. So I wasn't comfortable with the truck out here with 11 inches ice even, and then it's, you're gonna find spots with less. But I'm gonna pull the shack out there and uh, sit a little bit today. Um, tomorrow they're talking snow, so I don't know about cutting in in the morning or not. I probably will, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, sure is nice getting out here. A lot more people today looking with cameras, looking with panoptics, they're all over the place. Shanties are starting to come on, spreading out. But other than that, the lake's in good shape. It's just you gotta watch out for those uh, springs and wells and whatever is out here. And uh, people are starting to find them. Uh, the truck is getting awfully close to the bad spot. So I'm on the west end of Poygan, straight off of Captain's Cove, I guess. It's probably a mile. I guess it's a mile. But this is where my cousin hit the, uh, there's a spring right here. And uh, he went over it with the UTV this morning, busted off, but he didn't go down or nothing like that. Good thing he was moving. Good thing he didn't hit with his truck. He did mark it with some lats, but Hopefully they stay up today and now they freeze in, but that's a hole that could swallow up a truck, I'm sure. It's probably six feet across. So, uh, good thing we found it, I guess. And I uh, keep hearing about springs and stuff like that out here. That's the second one that's been hit now in the last two days. I don't want to be a, a guy to find another one. I don't like the ice over here. It's like getting, uh, I don't know, softer, honeycombier, I guess. When you're only talking about 11 or less. I might, I might make my way back east. I don't know, just a sturgeon. I don't wanna get too crazy. Well, it's Wednesday uh, evening now. I think I'm done. I'm calling her quits for the scouting for the year. I mean, I can't tomorrow yet, I guess. I'll probably sit, cut it in, but I've had enough. I don't know, I'm burning myself out trying to think about this I think I've never scouted so much in my life for sturgeon in the last two weeks and to see the least amount of sturgeon I've ever seen so whatever and I'm on Poygan this is not what I expected I was expecting five ten fish every day maybe I'm in the wrong spot maybe I don't know what I'm doing but I always tried a lot of different areas and we kind of know where some fish are I guess but um, I don't know just get frustrated but I got to just relax and uh, I think we'll do just fine. We always do every year. I just wanted to make sure that my Parker got a fish, Tara got a fish. And we're on Poygan. It'd be nice to get done in a day and get back to Winnebago. But that'll be it for today. I'll see what the weather looks like in the morning and uh, start cutting some holes.